a final farewell to one of South Africa's apartheid stalwarts. To the thousands here, he was a great leader, and his murder last week came as a shock. Some even say they feel lost without him. He means a lot to me because uh, he sent up for white people, and uh, there is no other leader now. We must wait and see what's coming. But Eugene Terblanche's death has further polarized the small town of Fentestorp, a community where some are still struggling to let go of the past, 16 years after the end of apartheid. Those at the funeral were almost all white. <laughs> Black South Africans were asked to remain in the poor township area and not attend Terra Blanche's funeral for security reasons. Heavy police presence made sure skirmishes between blacks and whites didn't happen on Friday. But Terra Blanche's party, the AWB, has threatened to take out their anger on blacks in the country, a threat some living here in Fentestorp aren't taking lightly. I'm worried. I'm worried, but we are ready. Let me say we are ready for them. They must come to, for revenge, but we are ready for them. Black South Africans are the poorest in this town, and years of being oppressed by whites during apartheid leave some with little sympathy for Terra Blanche. Many years he was killing people, killing people, only blacks. Why he don't? Why he didn't kill whites? He was just killing uh, black people. The two accused of brutally murdering Terra Blanche will appear in court Wednesday, but it could take weeks or even months before a verdict is reached. During the apartheid years, Fentestorp was a hotspot. Atrocities were committed by both the blacks and the whites. If investigations into Eugene Terra Blanche's murder aren't handled quickly and sensitively, there is a fear that the different races here will only grow further apart. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Fentestorp, South Africa.